Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna clean some bird skulls. Two turkey, a dove, and a quail. And I hate this process, but so many people have asked. Let's do it. First things first, get all them feathers and skin off. Now, just so I don't send the wrong message here right in the beginning, this is not a how to clean bird skull video. I happen to have some of these bird skulls. I will show you some of the process, but y'all have seen it before if you've been here at all. What I'm focused on today is a product that was sent to me from a company called SuperClean. Now, SuperClean offers the strongest degreasing product available to the public anywhere. It is fantastic, and so I really wanted to give it a go for your benefit and mine. Just to be crystal clear, I didn't get paid anything, and I will not get paid anything for this film. I got a hat, a shirt, and a bottle of degreaser. So let's give it a go and see how it does on these birds. You may ask, why am I doing these little birds first? Why am I degreasing here? Have you ever got a whole fryer chicken from the grocery store? You know, maybe one in the bag or that little plastic tote that's sitting in the front. You dismantle that bird and you have all those bones and they're super, super greasy because the way it was cooked and all that stuff. It's a perfect example of a small diameter bone that can degrease fairly fast. I just thought because I have them, they're my own, they're my personal. If they do get destroyed, there's no great loss. I'm actually investing in this process. So that's why I chose these birds. Once that's done, I'm gonna drop them all in a Ziploc and fill it full of water because I'm just gonna stick this in the boil while I work on some other stuff. Keep an eye on them, about 10 minutes. Once it's boiling, drop this in, pull them out in 10 minutes and then we're gonna sort out the rest. As you know here, I'm trying to loosen up any of the excess meat that's on the skull once I remove the skin and feathers. From here, I'm just gonna remove the beak. I'm gonna grab a hold of that beak, which essentially is like a keratin, like horn. I'm gonna wiggle it off, and then I'm gonna just drop them without cleaning anything back into a whitening peroxide mix. All I'm trying to do is fast track most of the meat and tissue off these skulls. Today, I'm using a little soft 1500 PSI power washer. I do not recommend you doing this barehanded or like I'm doing it. The only reason I'm even showing you this is I've done hundreds and hundreds of these and I'm not trying to get them super clean. I'm just real familiar with this unit and how to spray them off. By using my hands here, I know how much pressure I can apply to the meat. So once they're all rinsed clean, I'm gonna let them dry, then we're gonna incorporate the super clean. Oh yeah, and don't forget, you're gonna wanna spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, make it go away. Y'all, tomorrow I'm going to Turkey to film some Ibex hunts. Holy cow, that is thrilling. Sorry, I've got the wash machine running in the back. I've got a fan going here. I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done and I wanna prep part of this film because I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. I'm gonna try a new degreasing product. The good folks over at SuperClean reached out and said, hey, we sell the strongest degreaser that the public can buy like over the shelf. We think it'd be a great application for you and the skull work. You're always talking about degreasing. Here's where we're at. So I clean those bird skulls just just blew them off. There's tendons still holding stuff together. I didn't, I didn't want to overdo these and degrease them like I would traditionally because I want to drop them in this jar. Oh, by the way, Mr. Beans ate the dove. Just right off the counter, just ate the whole thing. So, two turkeys going in. I more want to see if it damages it, right? And then here's that little quail. Again same there's that little quail right whatever all of them in this little jar super clean they sent me a like a spray bottle and like a foam sprayer i don't know if they completely knew what i do but i'm grateful they also sent me a hat and a shirt i'm gonna rock that bad boy at the end providing it works these are also the leg bones where the spur connects they're going right down in the Super clean pile. Oh, it's purple. 
We'll see if it stains. I don't know why I said that so loud. <laughs> it's just me in the garage, nobody around. I did ask the question, can I boil with this? And they said, yes, you can. However, the product will perform better cooler. So if I don't boil. Okay, I'm gonna leave it for 10 days. Let's just see what happens. Shoot me a comment if you guys have tried super clean and whether you like it or don't like it. And hell, I'm gonna be gone 10 days, but you're gonna know like that whether it's good or bad. So thanks for watching. What's happening everyone? Um, back from Turkey, I've been back two weeks and I was pretty far behind. So in that two weeks I've done 31 skulls on top of my normal job, right? So that part is super difficult. Remember the super clean uh, project? Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. They sent me a hat and a shirt. Boom, super clean. So I don't even know that I'm gonna use this film because I don't know how the product is, but I'm pretty sure it kicks butt because I put these things in here whole. And if you can see, they have all fallen apart. Now that fallen apart means that it's deteriorated or essentially softened all the connective tissues that hold it together. So let's, enough of that. Let's get it dumped out and see how it looks. Mr. Beans is super interested because he ate the last one. I'm always working on a degreasing test. Y'all know that. I'm always working on one. It's just who I am. I'm trying to find a way to make this process better. When I find out what that is, I share it with you. So I think I took the wrong approach to start with. This is definitely a fantastic degreaser. This is the leg bone off that turkey and it is literally just mush now. That's the bone that I'm flexing and squeezing, right? But it's, this, is, this is the quail, right? It's just crushed. So I know it's doing its work, but I think it's so hard on the bone. This is a turkey, that's literally a turkey skull. I just made into powder. Okay, so maybe I didn't give the product a fair shake and I hate to extend a video, but that's, that's so crazy. It just turned the skull into like sawdust. that again so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take and I'm gonna try it on a really greasy animal like a pig I always have extra pigs don't use super clean on a bird skull this product is let me just be clear it's so good it's too good for bone that's uh, this is just not a good choice for for bone okay let's leave it there we'll pick it up with a, with a pig skull Okay, y'all, I want to wrap up the super clean video with my all-time favorite pig. Uh, my dad shot this some 15 years ago. Just an awesome pig. You may have seen a photo of him on Instagram. He had an abscess tusk, and that's why his witter grew so long, but hit the inside of his jaw just looks like a coral reef. And he kind of sits like he's got a beard. He's so cool. I'll show you some up close pictures. The reason I used this pig is because I did this pig some 15 years ago and I had had to re-degrease it one time and it just started to look really, really just dingy like most skulls will. A, a truly degreased skull, uh, I think damages the bone to be real honest with you. But when you get into an animal that's very, very old, they can take the heat. So. Ultimately, this was in super clean for seven full days, just like I did the birds. Um, the edges of the nose, the eyes, and stuff like that started to get that soft fill feel. So I pulled it out of there and I just let it do its thing. There's no purple tint. I mop and glowed it. It's absolutely stunning. And I am convinced forever grease free. Um, the product is fantastic. I just would not use super clean straight on any young or small animal. For example, 
the back of the bottle tells you what you can use full strength for indoor outdoor rv whatever and then if you're using other things it says dilute by three parts eight parts 16 parts it's brilliant the short of it is i was thinking why don't i just use the product for what it was designed for yes degreasing but you know industrial type things so i started using it on the pots on my concrete where i get all kinds of oil staining and it's just been brilliant i will forever have some super clean in my skull cleaning arsenal whether i'm cleaning pots cleaning skulls whatever uh again i'm not getting paid for this i made a promise that i would give it a try a quick sneak peek next week i'm doing a bison deadhead i've started that process what would normally take me five days i added some super clean to it here's a little quick look it, it absolutely fast tracked the softening process by at least two or three days that's huge for me anytime i can hurry something up it helps a bunch so in short like always thank you so much for watching till next time be nice to one another